So in today's video, we're going to be looking at how you can get better engagement in your Microsoft Teams meeting using presenter mode, which allows you to bring the presenter alongside with the presentation. So let's dive in and take a look. Okay, so we're now here in Microsoft Teams. Let's have a look at how we can share some engaging content with presenter mode. So all we need to do is go to the top right, choose share content. And then from here, what we need to do is choose one of these different presenter modes. So you can see here we've got standout, which was there before, but we now have some new ones. We've got side by side, so your content is side by side of yourself as the presenter. And then we've got reporter mode, which allows you to be a little bit more front and center to your presentation. So first step is select which one of the presenter modes that you want to run. So I'm going to choose side by side. And on the right hand side here, we then have this customize button, which now allows us to change the background that everyone sees inside these different presentation modes, or at least from side by side and for reporter. So here's the default. I could of course choose any of these different funky ones that I like. So I'm gonna just choose this one. <laughs> it looks fairly interesting. And then I can just go back. So we now have our presenter mode side by side selected and our customized background. So at this point, presenter mode can only be used if you do a screen share or if you share a window, so an application, for example. What it doesn't work with today is PowerPoint Live. And according to the documentation, that will be coming soon to Microsoft Teams where you can use presenter mode inside PowerPoint Live, which is gonna be pretty awesome. But for today, you can just use screen and window. So we're gonna go and select window and then choose my Harper Puff PowerPoint. So at this point, we're now showing everybody, of course, the presentation. But if you've never used this presenter mode before, what we now get is this new window which shows us what all the audience are seeing. So currently they're seeing this PowerPoint window being displayed and then me side by side. That's pretty awesome. But let's get into a real scenario where we just get inside slideshow mode and then we'll go from there. Okay, so we now have our slideshow and full screen. And if we bring back what the audience is seeing, they can now see my full screen PowerPoint and of course me here side by side. The next question you might be asking though, well, that's great, but how do I change between these different presenter modes? And to do that, all you need to do is come up to the top here and it's gonna now give you the different options. So right now we're in side by side. I could go ahead and select reporter and you can now see that my audience view changes. I'm really here in the front and center. And of course I could do all sorts of fun stuff. I can gauge of my content. Maybe I wanna point at my PowerPoint or whatever other fun stuff. You know, you can take your own creative liberty there. And the other thing you can do then is also choose standout mode, which was there before. You can now see that I'm a lot smaller on the screen and the presentation is across the full screen for them. And the other thing, if you didn't want to stand out at all or have any of these kind of engaging presenter modes, you could of course just go back to normal. And this is just going to share my webcam as you would normally expect, and then just the full screen for the presentation. But if you then decide you want to get back to it, of course you can just highlight at the top again. We could go back to side by side. It's then going to bring back up that audience view so we can make sure that it's looking exactly how we want it while we're creating these engaging presentations. So I think you're going to love these presenter modes, but there is one caveat. This only works in desktop mode today. So if you're using the mobile or the web version, you're not going to see this great, rich, engaging experience. So let's just jump over to it so you can have a look at that in real time. Okay, so we're now here in the web client, logged in as Megan, and we can see that the meeting looks just like it would normally. We've got a full screen with the presentation, and then you can see my webcam there in the bottom right. However, if anyone was on the desktop client, because we can pop up and see what the audience is seeing, they would be seeing that side to side interaction. So just to prove the point, works in the desktop client, doesn't in web and mobile. However, it does for the Mac OS and they can put that on the screen. Well, I look forward to hearing how you get on with presenter mode in your next presentation. And if you've enjoyed this video, why don't you check out some of my other Microsoft Teams videos that I think are gonna help you out.